Hey everyone, what's going on? So how's it going everybody? Uh, Matthew back again here with another review. This time we're talking about Ginseng Confessions. This is the first uh, Miscellaneous Monday review that we're doing a video for. As usually 9 times out of 10 all my videos are going to be about new music, but I'm trying to switch it up for 2018. I'm trying to get a better taste, use the office space more I suppose. So let's get off to a, to a rip roar and start. So Ginseng is a very pure soul when it comes to instrumentation and his beauty kind of knows no bounds behind the really intricate production that he uses. And even though while sometimes it can be very simple, for the most part it is very deeply layered and very complex. And it shows a lot of these, these moments where his glimmering monument of hip hop instrumentation really can pull through and take confessions onto new heights. Though while 14 tracks, the tracks move at a very well put together pace and the moments of real clarity come from when Ginseng is at his most artistically free. The landscapes of beauty and harmony, they work together very well through Ginseng's confessions and the really subtle cover art is a representative of his style through what he's done in the past and I think now that he's stepping into not different genres but almost different tones and using different instruments and trying to capture these different settings I think that he's moving in a more intricate speed that's not to say that Confessions is becoming a directionless or over clustered album it really does have a very set tone to it while it doesn't jump from that path very often when it does its reward is very almost psychedelic tendencies and these really heavy reverbed guitars and these dancing little chimes that kind of click in behind the instrumentation and the layer of depth behind all of the foreground I think is the most impressive thing on this whole project. The way that Ginseng layers each thing and layers and layers and layers each instrument creates this real sense of intricacy behind his music and that's where the intricacy comes in. And it's not so much as the instrumentals themselves, but the instruments and the way they're manipulated. It actually has some breaks and placed inside the instrumentals, which is interesting enough. The track Flow On has several of these intricate breaks where the instrumental will cut completely and then throw in a, a what or a yeah, yeah, which kind of breaks up the action. And while there is no lyricist, there is a strong, obvious relationship between Ginseng and the production. And I think that he really balances well on the use of vocal samples and the use of actual production. The instrumentation is very strong here, and I think that's the most important part, is seeing the strength behind his numbers. And that's the moment where the delayed guitars and the almost dance-influenced psychedelic, really experimental style that he takes a direction on with confusion I think is important because it really layers the track and it becomes this gripping and pulsating piece of art. It's similar to take these transitions and create these really effortlessly flowing masterpieces of sound that combine the lo-fi sound and combine the very sample heavy sound, but they really rely heavily on Ginseng's own creativity. And I think that's where this project is a shining example of how Confessions is something that stands out, not for just the way that Ginseng made it flow, but the way that the album takes life itself and is really becoming its own superior entity at one time. And Ginseng is really just attractive on the ears, simply put, uh, without the extra words, but he's double plus good in a way that he's able to really create this sense of achievement through sound. Even the very subtle and climbing aspects of the record, I think that Ginseng captures essentially what it is to create these soundscapes within his music, and what it is to create new landscapes from just sound. Confessions really puts this immense pressure behind Ginseng, but he delivers incredibly well over and over again. It really shows that he can handle 14 tracks without having it become bogged down with mindless filler tracks or having something that really doesn't fit in, but he just needed to fill a spot. Having something that runs too long or too short. I think that Confessions is a perfect length, really something to kind of get my 2018 started even though it came out in 2017 really something to get my 2018 started off correctly 
and hopefully Confessions takes the love of all things kind of lo-fi hip-hop and even uh, hip-hop instrumentation and kind of morphs them into one project and I think that without a lyricist it stands stronger because it is a bigger focus on the production aspect and it is a bigger focus on just Ginseng himself as an artist. The amount of power and prowess that Ginseng takes is something that borderlines on a masterpiece honestly and I think that Confessions is something that I'll continue to come back to as it's very relaxing it also has these moments of very upbeat stylings that can really influence a crowd and really influence the flow of a person as well. Now, this is the first Miss Monday video. I hope that it went smoothly. I am hopefully going to put it up on Monday. That would be ideal. Thank you guys for sticking with me. I appreciate it. And uh, catch me on the next music review where I share my opinion for people that don't really care. <laughs> Thanks for watching.